Hey guys, it's Liesl Jane. Today I'm gonna show you an unusual breakfast recipe that I am just beyond obsessed with. <laughs> so obsessed. And I shared a picture on my Instagram a while ago of this breakfast and I've been eating it so often and you guys, when I posted this picture, you guys like went crazy and I just got so many requests for this recipe and you guys just keep asking me to share it with you. I thought today would be the perfect day to make this since I was craving it like crazy. And so I'm gonna show you how I make this amazing breakfast. This recipe is completely dairy-free, gluten-free and refined sugar-free. It's really healthy, it's a nice balanced breakfast with healthy carbs, healthy proteins, some healthy fats as well and I'm just obsessed. Let's get started, can't wait to share it with you. Okay, so I'm actually going to show you two ways that I like to make this. The first way is half chocolate, half blueberry. And the other way is a reverse half chocolate and half vanilla. So let's get started with the first one. So the first thing that you will need to create this breakfast obsession of mine is to make some classic overnight oats. But to get this right, you have to stick to the recipe as is. And you'll see why at the end this could make or break your whole meal, it's quite serious. <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing is mixing half a cup of whole rolled oats with two teaspoons of chia seeds and half a cup of water. Don't add any more water than half a cup and measure it out or you will pay the price later. <laughs> so just mix it up and leave it to soak in the fridge overnight. And then in the morning, the basic overnight oats will be ready because the oats and the chia seeds, they take a few hours to soak up the water and become a porridge kind of consistency. So now I'm gonna make this first one into healthy chocolate overnight oats. So I just like to sweeten this naturally with a bit of 100% pure maple syrup. I'm using one teaspoon. Raw coconut sugar is another favorite of mine. Then I'm adding some cinnamon, about a quarter of a teaspoon and some pure vanilla extract. And then two teaspoons of cacao powder for that chocolatiness. Cacao powder is just raw and sweetened cocoa powder and it's what we like to call a superfood full of nutrients and antioxidants. And I'm just mixing that together and that's literally so good on its own. I could eat that right now, but we're gonna take this to the next level, okay? This is not your basic breakfast. Okay, now for the next part, I'm putting that chocolate overnight oats aside just for a second. We're about to create a masterpiece, people not to be too dramatic about it. So for this next step, you will need a blender and you will need one cup of frozen blueberries. And yes, they have to be frozen. You can also use frozen strawberries that will work too, but they have to be frozen. Okay, you get it, they need to be frozen. Next, I'm using one third of an avocado. This is really healthy and it also gives a creamy texture. You can also use a bit of plain yogurt instead of the avocado if you must, but don't add too much. Probably about half a cup of plain yogurt would be good instead of the avocado. Then one quarter of a cup of water, no more than that. <laughs> this is super important. Only one quarter of a cup of water. And if you've used yogurt instead of the avocado, you may even need less water, probably less. Next, a little drop of natural sweetener. I'm using one teaspoon of 100% pure maple syrup, a little bit of pure vanilla extract and a pinch of cinnamon and just blend that up. No ice cubes, the frozen blueberries will make it cold enough. And after blending, you will have a thick smoothie. This would be classified as a smoothie bowl, but remember, we're taking this to the next level. So now grab a bowl and grab those chocolate overnight oats. Now carefully pour the overnight oats into one side of the bowl, just the one side. This is the most important step of the whole thing. And this is why I told you that you had to use the exact measurements. You don't want it to be too watery or else your attempts at this could fail. But you listened to me and used the correct amount of water. I know you did, so we're all good. So now take a spoon and just press it to the one side of the bowl gently. These overnight oats will have quite a thick and firm consistency because we only used a bit of water. So this should be really easy to do and it will stay on the one side of the bowl. And now carefully pour your thick smoothie into the other side of the bowl next to the overnight oats and smooth out the top gently with a spoon. And then this is optional, but it adds that extra element of awesome. And the flavors go so well together. I like to top this breakfast with a few fresh raspberries, but using frozen raspberries is also really good. If you like that chill, you can also use strawberries instead or extra blueberries on top, also really good. This looks so pretty. And just take a moment to marvel at our breakfast creation. And then just dive in, eat it with a spoon, 
and you have to try a little bit of everything together on your spoon. A little bit of the blueberry smoothie, a little bit of the raspberry and a little bit of the chocolate overnight oats all together on the spoon in one mouthful. The flavors together, oh my gosh guys, you have to try this. Just get that all on there, you're gonna love it. So this breakfast, apart from being aesthetically pleasing to look at and super delicious, is also really healthy. It contains good whole carbs from the oats and from the fruit, good protein from the chia seeds and healthy fats from the avocado and the chia seeds. So it's a nice balanced breakfast meal and it's really filling so it'll keep your energy levels up throughout the morning. And one bowl of this will give you roughly 400 calories so that's a good amount for breakfast. Next we are going to make the same thing again but this time a little bit different. This one is gonna be even more epic than the last. And you may be thinking, is that even possible? Yes, yes it is. So let's get started. So first, you know, the same thing again. You know the drill, classic overnight oats, half a cup of whole rolled oats, two teaspoons of chia seeds, half a cup of water, no extra water. You know the rules of this breakfast recipe and mix it together and keep in the fridge overnight to soak. It will be ready for you, ready, waiting for you to make it into a healthy breakfast masterpiece. So this one is even easier. Grab your teaspoon of 100% pure maple syrup, your pure vanilla extract and your cinnamon and mix it all together with your overnight oats and you have yourself some vanilla overnight oats. And put that aside for a minute. Next, grab your blender. See, you remember from last time. Okay, for this smoothie recipe, you will need one frozen banana, and yes, it has to be frozen. You know the rules of this recipe by now. One third of an avocado, and again, you can use half a cup of plain yogurt again if you don't want to use the avocado, but I use avocado, it's awesome. Next, things are gonna get a little bit crazy. Two teaspoons of cacao powder, one teaspoon of 100% pure maple syrup, pure vanilla extract, a pinch of cinnamon, throw it all in there, and only one quarter of a cup of water. Remember how important this is, only one quarter of a cup of water, no more. And then just blend that up, and no ice cubes, the frozen banana makes it chilled enough. And there, just like magic, you have yourself a thick, heavenly chocolate smoothie. Now grab a bowl again, and you know how this works. Pour the vanilla overnight oats into the bowl, making sure it only goes onto the one side of the bowl, like last time, and press it to the one side gently with a spoon. Now go get your chocolate smoothie. Go get your chocolate smoothie, and pour that into the other side of the bowl. And now you can grab some toppings, optional, but recommended for extra fun. I've got some fresh strawberry slices and a few fresh raspberries. And also we're gonna go all out on this one, all out guys. Some chopped walnut pieces as a garnish. And isn't that beautiful? And sit back and enjoy. And don't forget to get a little bit of everything on your spoon. All the flavors need to be appreciated together. So this vanilla chocolate breakfast treat is just as healthy as the first recipe that I showed you and just as awesome. And it's also a nice balanced breakfast. You got the good carbs from the banana, the oats and the berries, the healthy fats from the chia seeds, the avocado and the walnuts, and some protein from the chia seeds and the walnuts. And it's gonna give you great energy and make you feel good and make you happy. And the second breakfast bowl will be roughly 400 calories without the toppings. And with the toppings, not too much more, about roughly 450 calories with the toppings. But that depends on what toppings you use and it's optional, just in case you wanted to know. So I created this recipe because have you ever woken up and been like, do I want oatmeal for breakfast or do I want a smoothie for breakfast? And you just can't decide and you're like smoothie, oatmeal, smoothie, oatmeal, and you just don't know. Well, my friend, you no longer have to live in this dilemma because I have solved this issue for you. Just have both. Have half a bowl of oats and half a bowl of smoothie. Half a smoothie bowl, half an oat bowl. Have some smoked meal. Now, I'm just not sure what we're gonna call this. If this is like a thing, I don't know. Smoked meal, smotes, oothy, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you can come up with a better name. So if you can think of a good name, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you've enjoyed it and I hope that you enjoyed making my unusual breakfast recipe with me. I'm also gonna put the full recipe over on my blog. I'm gonna put a link to that below this video so you can go check it out there if you want to. And 
Make sure that you like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will see you again soon.